Want to sell beautifully designed products, but don't see yourself as a creative type or think you don't have any design skills? Or maybe you just want to experiment with new designs and extra unique niches without having to pay for it. Then say hello to our AI image generator together with our background removal tool and create bestsellers in seconds. Hey, I'm Leah, and I'm going to show you how to create prompts for stunning professional grade results. You can get started with 15 free attempts a day to generate images with each used attempt restored after 24 hours. Start by choosing a product from our catalog and opening it in the mock-up generator. I'm going to design a t-shirt because t-shirts will never go out of style. In the mock-up generator, select AI Image Generator to enter a prompt. A prompt is a descriptive word or phrase that tells the AI what kind of image to generate. Remember that we're still learning how AI models work, so we need to learn how to properly communicate with them to make sure they give us what we asked for. There's no guarantee that the AI-generated image will always be exactly what you asked for. For example, you might not get the exact background color that you indicated, but the more precise you are in your prompt, the higher chances you'll get what you want. To get the best results, be as specific as possible about your desired image. Here are some basic prompt guidelines for you to follow to get your creative vision to come to life. First, choose the main object. Start by selecting the main object for your prompt, like trees, skateboard, or frog wearing a taco hat. The main object can be one or multiple elements. Then choose the setting. This is where you want the scene to take place like a forest or in space. You can also specify the background color with a phrase like red background. If you have a specific concept in mind, you can also include it in the prompt. For example, frog wearing a taco hat enclosed in a triangle in space. Next, add some finishing touches. Enhance your prompt with descriptive adjectives to tell it the desired image quality or mood. Some examples could be professional t-shirt design, cute, vintage, or happy. And lastly, choose the image style from the available options. If you have a different style in mind, select None and include additional modifiers in your prompt. You can use modifiers that mirror specific art styles like pop art, renaissance, minimalism, geometric, or even textures like 3D. All right, so my first prompt is frog wearing a taco hat enclosed in a triangle in space, vintage minimalism. Let's see what we get. You might notice that we get a low resolution image, but don't worry, we'll automatically upscale the image to meet the minimum necessary requirements when sending the order to production. You also might notice that our image doesn't have a transparent background, sometimes not a good look for print on demand. You can use our background removal tool to automatically fix that. Select the design and choose Remove Background. Click the Quick Remove button and AI will do the rest. For now, you get three AI quick removals per day. If the end result isn't exactly what you're looking for, you can instead use the brush to manually remove parts of the background. Use the brush to remove parts of the image you don't want. Both edited and original images will be saved in your design library. The cropping option is an additional tool for you to get the exact image you want. Click Cropping in the toolbar menu, drag the edge or corner you'd like to crop, and hit Enter. If needed, you can click on the tool again to undo or fix the cropping, even after changing an image and saving the product. Pretty neat stuff, huh? Let's play around with a few more prompts to see what we can come up with. On a mug, I want fantasy art style with a rainbow pattern of fuzzy unicorns jumping while it's raining. Now this looks like a fun mug. On a canvas, I'll create a lake with a jumping fish on a sunset background, oil painting in Renaissance style. Beautiful. And on a notebook, I'll try a time traveler wearing a monocle, highly detailed, in 3D model style. Okay, I think I need to buy myself this notebook. Remember, practice makes perfect. Experiment with different descriptives and phrases to get more accurate representations of your vision. And just a friendly reminder that images generated by the AI must not include any elements that infringe upon the intellectual property rights of others or contain any prohibited content. If you want to know more about the legal things when it comes to AI, you can check out this video or find the link to our terms of use on the matter in the description below. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, then I've got one final prompt. Like and subscribe buttons, red and black background. Looks like I need to practice my prompts some more.